Ever wondered how to turn a market crash into an opportunity to potentially make millions? In this video, we'll explore some strategies that can help you navigate the challenging landscape of a market downturn and potentially came out on top. But first, here's a quick trivia question to test your knowledge. What year did the S&P 500 experience a significant market crash known as Block Monday? Was it A. 1997 B. 2001 C. 1987 or D. 2010 Leave your answer in the comments below and watch until the end of the video to find out the answer. So, without further ado, here's how to make the most out of market crashes. Number 1. Seizing Opportunities When Markets Slide Market crashes often happen due to major events like the emergence of COVID-19 or changes in how central banks manage the economy. Moreover, swift market drops can force aggressive investors who have borrowed money to buy stocks to sell their holdings to meet margin requirements. This can then trigger a chain reaction of selling in the market. However, it's important to recognize that market downturns also present chances for those who are well prepared. This might involve taking advantage of lower prices to buy stocks or funds you are interested in, or it could simply mean sticking to your regular investment schedule and purchasing more shares. For those who are new to investing, a smart starting point is investing in index funds. These funds contain a broad range of stocks, making them a relatively low-risk choice for beginners. The key is to invest consistently over time, and this regular approach can work in your favor, especially during times of uncertainty. By staying disciplined and maintaining a long-term perspective, you can potentially navigate the ups and downs of the market more effectively. Number 2. Remaining Steadfast Amid Market Turmoil in times of financial turbulence, it's important to hold on to your investment strategy and the assets you currently have in your portfolio. Unless there's a strong reason to do otherwise, it's generally a good idea to resist making hasty changes. When you first put together your investment plan, you probably considered the possibility of market downturns, like the one we're experiencing now. It's worth noting that individuals who quickly sell off their investments during these challenging times often find themselves regretting their decisions down the line. For instance, think about those who sold their investments in a rush during the spring of 2020, when the stock market took a big hit. By the following summer, they were already feeling remorseful about their choices, as the market rebounded strongly due to the recovery from the pandemic. And by the end of that year, they had missed out on substantial gains as the market climbed back up. Number 3. Turning Setbacks into Strategy – Managing Losses Sometimes, it's smart to adjust your strategy when things don't go as planned. This isn't about panicking, but rather making calculated moves. One way to do this is by managing losses strategically. Not only can this free up funds for new investments, but it can also lead to potential tax advantages, especially if you have taxable investment accounts. This approach, called tax loss harvesting, allows you to offset your taxable income by using realized losses to your advantage. Before diving into this strategy, it's a good idea to talk to a tax expert. They can help you avoid potential problems, like making purchases too similar to what you've sold, which could invalidate the tax benefits. If you prefer a more automated approach, many robo-advisors offer tools for tax loss harvesting. This can help you navigate this strategy more effectively and potentially improve your overall financial situation. Before we dive deeper into these strategies, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you're finding this information valuable. Your support motivates us to bring you more insightful content like this. Now, let's get back to unlocking the secrets of making the most out of market crashes. Number 4. Managing Risk with Dollar Cost Averaging When markets are tumultuous, one strategy that can help manage risk is called dollar cost averaging. This means consistently investing a set amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of whether the market is going up or down. The benefit of this approach is that it smooths out the average price you pay for your investments over time. 
instead of trying to time the market and invest when prices are low or waiting when prices are high, you invest consistently. This can be advantageous because it reduces the impact of sudden market fluctuations on your investments. By spreading out your investments over time, you reduce the risk of putting all your money into the market at a single moment, which could be risky if the market drops soon after you invest. If you're saving for retirement through a workplace plan like a 401k, you might already be practicing dollar cost averaging without realizing it, as contributions are typically made on a regular schedule. If you're investing on your own, most investment platforms offer the option to automate your investments, making it easier to stick to this strategy. Number 5. Tapping into Stability Through Dividend Investing In times of market downturns, exploring a strategy centered around dividends can be a prudent approach. Many companies distribute a portion of their profits to their shareholders through dividends which can be seen as a way to share the company's success with investors. While dividends are not guaranteed and can fluctuate, companies that consistently pay dividends tend to have more stable stock prices. This stability, combined with a regular income from dividends, can be particularly valuable during market declines when other types of investments might be struggling. Dividend investing is often favored by those seeking a source of regular income from their investments. By receiving dividends, investors can potentially offset some of the market's volatility and create a more predictable stream of returns. It's a way to weather the storm of market ups and downs while still benefiting from the long-term potential of the stock market. Number 6. Navigating Changing Market Trends When dealing with market downturns, there's a strategy worth exploring known as sector rotation. This essentially involves adjusting your investment focus from one area of the market to another based on the changing economic conditions. For instance, when the economy is growing strongly, technology stocks often do well. But during economic slowdowns, utility stocks, those related to essential services like electricity, tend to hold up better. However, it's important to consider different viewpoints on sector rotation. While some see it as a way to take advantage of market shifts, others think it resembles trying to predict the market's ups and downs, which can be tricky. A more dependable alternative is maintaining a diversified portfolio through investments in index funds. These funds can provide steady returns regardless of how individual market sectors perform. By having a diversified approach, investors can potentially handle market ups and downs more resiliently. Number 7. Finding Stability in Bonds During market downturns, a less discussed but valuable option is bond investing. Among these, government bonds stand out due to their reputation for safety. While they may not offer the same potential for high returns as stocks, they are known for being reliable during uncertain times. Government bonds can be bought with the help of brokers, but it's also good to know that retirement and investment accounts often offer bond funds. These funds hold a mix of government bonds, which can provide stability to your portfolio. While they may not be as exciting as stocks, they offer a sense of security and can help balance out the more unpredictable parts of your investments. And there you have it, folks. That's how you turn your frowns upside down. Now, it's the time you've all been waiting for. The answer to our trivia question about the infamous Black Monday market crash is C, 1987. That's right, the year that left a mark in financial history. Now, here's a question for you. Which strategy discussed in this video resonated with you the most? Was it seizing opportunities during market declines or perhaps exploring stability through dividend investing? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our insightful content. And make sure to ring the notification bell to be the first to know when we drop more valuable tips and tricks for your financial journey. Until next time, keep rocking the world of smart investing!